Hello friends, in this video we are going to see the operation of capacitor filter. So let's draw a circuit diagram first. Again I am considering full wave center tap rectifier. So in the rectifier circuit, this is the AC supply, stepping down with the help of transformer, you are using a center tap transformer, hence voltage over here is half of the supply voltage Vs. Rectifying action is done by diode D1 and D2, this is a load resistance RL, where we are getting output voltage V0. Now, it is a capacitor filter, so we will connect it across the load like this. So, capacitor is connected across the load and the value is few microfarads in order to make the output voltage ripple free. So, let us see how capacitor will act in this case. For that purpose, I am going to draw the waveform of output voltage first. Let us draw the waveform of output voltage without capacitor filter. So, it will be like this. This is the peak value of the output voltage Vm. So, this is the waveform without filter. Now, let us see what exactly happen whenever you connect a filter. So, for that purpose, let us consider this part of the waveform first. What does that indicate? When diode D1 operates. So, during positive half cycle, diode D1 forward bias, D2 reverse bias, hence the resultant circuit will be like this. So, I am starting from a secondary of a transformer only. So, diode D1 conducts, but D2 reverse bias. So, what happened? There will be a current flowing through the diode D1 in this direction and you will get current flowing through C as well as RL. So, what exactly happened is that capacitor C charges through diode D1. But that will not be continued till the complete half cycle. Why? because whenever we charge a capacitor, its voltage keep on increasing. So, the charging of capacitor will be like this. It will reach peak, but what happen after peak? It will not follow this path directly because capacitor does not allow instantaneous change in the voltage. So, what will happen? Up to this point only diode D1 conduct. Because what will happen now? Here you will have a maximum voltage and here voltage will keep on decreasing. So, the potential difference between anode and cathode becomes negative. What does that mean? Negative voltage across diode means diode will not conduct. So, after the maximum voltage once capacitor reach, diode D1 will also be reverse biased along with diode D2. So, after this both diode D1 and D2 are reverse bias. Then how the circuit will look like? So, when both the diodes are reverse bias, 
that means both the circuits are open only circuit left is this a charge capacitor will give rise to a current to the load resistance in order to maintain a constant output voltage v0 so what happens during this c discharges c giving current to the load whereas what do you mean by charging c take current from the supply through d1 this will be continue till the next half cycle so the waveform will be like this discharge time for capacitor is very high what does that mean it will discharge and its voltage keep on decreasing slowly so during this time both the diodes are off d1 and d2 both are off and now till this point capacitor voltage is more than the supply voltage as you can see from the graph therefore d2 is again remains reverse bias but after this point supply voltage is more than the capacitor voltage hence there will be a, a positive voltage drop across d2 resulting in forward biasing of d2 so the circuit during this time will be like this diode d1 is reverse bias but d2 will conduct and what will be the direction of current it will be like this so what is happening again capacitor is taking current that means capacitor c charges this time the path is through d2 so the waveform nature will be like this capacitor starts charging itself as we discussed it will charge only up to the maximum voltage so during this time capacitor is charging because d2 is on once it reach a maximum value then there will be a reverse voltage across d2 resulting in reverse bias of d2 along with d1 so once this is reverse bias once again capacitor will go in this mode it will discharge through rl and the discharge time is very high that mean it will take a lot of time to decrease its voltage so during this time what is happening both the diodes are reverse bias that mean d1 d2 are off so ultimately this cycle continues so you will get next waveform like this see here this is a waveform you are getting without filter but if you connect a capacitor filter across load you will get this kind of a waveform and if you see properly and draw a average line suppose it is something like this this i can consider as v average or ultimate dc value the difference between these two peaks are called as a ripple and that ripple value is very very less compared to the ripple value without filter because without filter the ripple value is very high you can see 0 and vm but here it is very very less so if you keep on increasing the value of c this waveform will become almost like a perfect dc which we call as ripple free so this is a concept of a capacitor filter now we need to calculate what is the ripple contained in a rectifier output voltage so that relationship is like this for full wave rectifier the ripple content is 1 upon 4 4 multiplied by root 3 multiplied by frequency c value and 
R L and for half your rectifier we can get R equal to 1 upon 2 root 3 F C R L. So, if we know the value of a ripple that we want to remove we can design this capacitor value in order to get desired output. Thank you.